Recorded Books presents a Southern Voices production. Call It What You Want, stories by Keith Lee Morris. This unabridged recording is narrated by actors from the Recorded Books Repertory Company. This book is copyrighted 2010 by Keith Lee Morris. This recording is copyrighted 2010 by Recorded Books, producer and publisher of Southern Voices, celebrating the rich heritage and distinct characteristics of Southern writers. The author opens with a quote from The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner. Then the dark began to go in smooth, bright shapes like it always does, even when Caddy says that I have been asleep. And now, the first story in this collection, Testimony, narrated by Anthony Krepp. I've been sitting there in the courtroom all day looking at the backs of people's heads, mostly Andy Munson's. In that situation, you couldn't help but sit and wonder what went on inside there, in Andy's head. I'd known him as long as I could remember. There were a lot of people in town I'd known as long as I could remember, and some of them I knew better than Andy. But I suppose I knew Andy better than most. But there was always something about Andy you couldn't know. Maybe it was hard to figure out Andy, because Andy didn't spend a lot of time trying to figure out himself. The courtroom was cold. It was a fucking icebox. I would have rather been outside in the snow, almost, even in just my long-sleeved shirt. I didn't dress up to testify. Only a collared shirt and a newer pair of jeans, because I didn't have any nice clothes. It was snowing like crazy in the morning when I got to the courthouse, and I was wondering whether I'd be able to get home without my snow tires, which I'd taken off the week before. It was practically April, so I knew the snow was piling up, but the thing kept dragging on, and I couldn't leave to go check the weather because they wouldn't tell me when I'd be called to testify. Every once in a while, the judge would send the jury back to the jury room so he could settle some point of law with the attorneys. But he never said the court was recessed or told us we could go outside for a smoke. And I could have used one. Honestly, I was getting a little nervous. They told me what to say, the prosecutors. Or not what to say specifically, but how to say it, like, Okay, that's good. That's fine, Robert. Just tell it like that. Just tell the truth like you'd naturally tell it. Sample complete. Ready to continue?